Good day, everyone. Today we're going to be talking about the RuneScape spell, Ice Barrage. <coughs> now, I don't know, I host polls on what RuneScape related thing you guys want me to <coughs> make a video on, and you guys voted for Ice Barrage, so let's get into it. This video will contain everything about Ice Barrage, including the maximum possible hit. So one disclaimer I like to talk about before <coughs> making these videos is that everything is taken from the old school RuneScape official wiki and um, everything is taken from this page, oldschool.runescape.wiki forward slash Ice Barrage. A little bit into Ice Barrage, or actually the whole thing about Ice Barrage, excluding the history in the RS3 area era. So let's go into the hard specifics about Ice Barrage before I talk about stuff like animation stalls that you can do to gain advantage over your opponent. It was released 18 April 2005 and the image of Ice Barrage is characterized by three droplets in white, black, and blue-ish. It is a members only spell requiring level 94 magic. However, if you have boosts, you can use Ice Barrage at around level 87 comment with the, or, I'm sorry, 85 magic with the imbued four size saturated heart don't quote me on that next we have the spell book being ancient <coughs> so the ancient spell book it is a combat type spell <coughs> granting 52 experience on a splash or a hit of zero it is an ice element spell which means it does freeze <coughs> with a base max hit of 30 it requires a runes water two six water runes, two blood runes, and four death runes. <coughs> it has a casting speed of five ticks and a description, a multi-dash target. Strong ice attack. <coughs> so this is what Ice Barrage's animation looks like. A giant ice cube that inflicts damage, not immediately, but a little bit after the ice cube. But not always, as there is like an invisible animation that Ice Barrage can do, so you gotta be wary about that. That freezes your target, upon a successful hit, not a splash. <laughs> Clarify about Ice Barrage. Um, guys, a splash, if, if, if it's a blue hit splat and it hits hit zero with Ice Barrage, you still get frozen for that 20 seconds. So be very careful of that. There is technically no damage being done there. It's still that 20 second freeze timer. Now before we talk about what Ice Barrage is and what it does more, let's talk about a little bit uh, of the history of Ice Barrage. Now, it is the second to last spell on the Ancient Spellbook, which, which requires a quest Desert Treasure, a member's only quest, to complete this spellbook. And once activating the spellbook, you are no longer able to use any other spellbook. Which is the most commonly used spell in PvP scenarios, including tournaments. So, there is a general consensus that it is the most overpowered spell for PvP, <coughs> or at least the easiest to use. <coughs> the five extra seconds that Ice Barrage gives over Entangle, the other freezing spell, the mo other most powerful freezing spell, <coughs> that that's what makes it overpowered. You get five extra seconds, five er extra seconds that you, you have a player frozen in that spot. That's what makes it so overpowered <coughs> compared to the normal spellbook, which does have higher ma max hits. <coughs> to the text here, Ice Barrage is the highest tier ice spell from the ancient magic spellbook available at level 94 magic it is capable of hitting 30 damage without any magic damage boosts per cast ice barrage can freeze targets comma causing them to be come unable to move for 19.2 <coughs> correction is 19.2 rather than 20 i did round up or 32 ticks <coughs> it is also able to target up to nine targets in a three by three grid around its primary target. Just like all other burst and barrage spells, as with all ancient magic spells, the quest Desert Treasure One must be completed to cast this spell. A lot of this we already touched on. The spell's accuracy rolls. Oh, let's talk about a little bit about damage calculation with Ice Barrage. <coughs> 
it's obvious it's it's going to roll on your opponent's magic defense and your your own magic strength and your own magic accuracy. <coughs> 100% sense here, so let's go into this. The spell's accuracy rolls for each opponent individually against their magic defense, uh, unlike next column, Chin Chapas. However, if on a slayer task and you target a slayer monster, for example, Tistan Karlak, on a greater demon task, your max hit will be considered on all targets, as if the targets were your slayer task. This means that it is better to target your Slayer Task monster if given the choice between that and a non-Slayer monster. Sorry, I do not compute. Necreal and their Dark Spawn. Players often use this spell on multiple enemies, being the most powerful spell in multi-combat scenarios, to train magic because the spell has potential to gain high amounts of XP per hour. It is also often used in player killing and in minigames such as the Castle War minigame, due to the spell's effectiveness, it also gives more hit point experience than Red Chin Champions. Now, Ice Barrage does have a sound effect characterized by this. I'll play it again. So the next paragraph talks about how you can use... Now, this is the fine print. Ice Barrage at only 82 magic using the Saturated Heart. So if you want to boost from 82 magic to Vengeance, you are able to do that with just the Saturated Heart. Players can cast this spell with a magic level of 90 and you, with the use of Magic Potion, comma, a magic level of 88. Magic Potion will boost it plus 4. <laughs> with an Ancient Brew, comma, 85 with the use of an Imbued Heart, comma, a Forgotten Brew, or Castle War Brew, or 82 with the use of a Saturated Heart. Now Castle War Brew, or I don't even know what it is. Using a Castle War Brew to cast a spell will satisfy the Ardone Diary Elite Task requirement for casting the spell within Castle Wars. Casting this spell on a creature in the desert is also a requirement for the Elite di Desert Diary. <coughs> Three Skiller cannot cast Ice Barrage. <coughs> Base maximum hit of Ice Barrage is 30. If you're wearing no armor, no weapons, nothing. It will always be 30. <laughs> but if you're using Augury, you will hit 31, the level 77 prayer. But if you're using any of the other, any of the other magic spells, you will not be able to hit 31. Okay, everyone, now let's get into the cost and the runes costed for Ice Barrage. <laughs> strap in. So, the first being just the regular thing that just displays when you hover over Ice Brugs, that being four death runes, two blood runes, and six water runes. For a grand total of 1,300 coins, now this is recorded 10, 3, 20, 24, so the prices may vary. <coughs> or you can use combo runes. Four death runes, you could use two blood runes and six mud runes. This will cost you more, coming in at 1,948 gold. <coughs> Next we have 4 death runes, 2 blood runes, and 6 either steam or mist runes, coming in at 1,942 gold. So 6 gold cheaper. <coughs> Next we have death, uh, you can use 4 death runes, 2 blood runes, and 6 either steam or mist runes for 1,972 gold. So seven more <coughs> gold expensive or you can use it in combination with stabs you can use four death runes two blood runes and a water staff or water battle staff coming in at 1276 gold <coughs> or <coughs> with the staff of the dead I guess you can use less <coughs> coming in at 3.42 death runes 1.71 blood runes and 5.14 water runes with the staff of the dead or the toxic staff of the dead I believe it only costs 1,011 gold 111 gold 
that still is not the cheapest option on this panel here. The next one is the Kodai one. The more expensive variant of the Staff of the Dead. Coming in at 3.4 Death Rooms and 1.7 Blood Rooms. It only costs 1,084 gold to do. And this is the actual most cheapest way to cast Ice Barrage. However, <clears throat> I, I would like to make a correction. This is actually usable in a dead man mode and PvP. You can use Blighted Ancient Ice Axe. You can purchase them on the Grand Exchange. You don't need a stack of runes. However, this is only for PvP kind of scenarios such as Wilderness and DMM and just uh, PvP. It only costs 603 gold. Okay, everyone. That is everything there is to know about Ice Barrage in OSRS. There's actually been no change logs to the spell whatsoever. So, let's punch in the numbers, see what we can get as a max hit using Ice Barrage. Because I am actually interested. Because uh, they might have added some buffs. Okay, everyone. Let's quickly just go over and see what the maximum possible hit here, here is. Now, the maximum possible hit is achieved at level 94. However, we'll just punch in 99 because we're going for the maximum item set. There's no item set for the most maximum possible hit. <laughs> Let's go for a saturated heart. Now, the boost won't actually boost up the max hit, but we're just going for the maximum. So, <clears throat> Augury being the most powerful magic spell. Now, Castle Wars Bracelet. You do get extra max hits in Castle Wars, but we're not going to apply that right now. So, let's see. Spell will select Fire Surge. Elemental Weakness. Now, this is not something I know much about, so we're only going to use it for PvP scenarios. So, there's a lot of different staffs that actually provide the maximum possible hit. We'll, we'll just go ahead and put the code I want, I believe. Unless there's something over 15%. Next, let's go into the Tormented Bracelet, <coughs> that being the best. Glove Slot. Now, Salve Amulet, EI, it is a, and I are both PBM, so we'll go with the Colt Necklace, which actually just got uh, nerfed recently. Let's go to <coughs> the most highest hitting thing, which would be in PvP scenarios, that being either the Ancestral or the Virtus. Virtus being only usable in Bouncing Hunter. We also have the Ancestral Hat or the Verse Hat. Verse Mask actually is uh, less powerful. I didn't mind that. <laughs> Let's go into the legs. So Ancestral is stronger than Virtus. Next you need an imbued Gon Cave for the maximum possible hit. Now Ice Barrage, <laughs> there's no need for a Tome of Water. <laughs> as that is normal spellbook specific. Elemis Ward is the best thing for uh, Ice Barrage. <coughs> so, the Magus Ring, I don't even know what that is. So that, that, and we have internal boots. So let's go ahead and see what the maximum possible hit. I know it's over 40. I know it's like over 41. Because, comment right now what you think the maximum possible hits is before I, I calculate this, if you guys know. I'm guessing 40. Three or forty-four. I accidentally selected fire surge. Forty-four is our maximum possible hit. Thank you so much for watching. Like, comment, subscribe. Let me know what you guys want to see next, and uh, we'll do another poll on what spell. <laughs> Thank you so much, guys. <clears throat> and yeah, we'll try to get more content related to this soon, guys.